Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how this dock works. There is a boat in this dock right now. If I come over here and I hit this button, it pushes the boat into the water. Now how about that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the boat back in here and I'll show you that you can hit that button while in the boat and it pushes you into the water. Let me just back that thing up. Yeah, all right. So now I'm going to show you how it works. You see, this is not my dock design. I didn't come up with it. I found it on the internet, on YouTube. But the video that I was watching that showed it to me was a little less than clear about exactly how it works as far as the wiring goes. And I know next to nothing about redstone. So once I figured it out, I was extremely happy and very proud of myself. And I wanted a cookie, so I figured I'd upload a video demonstrating it to everyone else. Firstly, there is water in this corner and what happens is that that wooden plank block right there is attached to a sticky piston below it that'll pull it down which allows the water to funnel into this channel right here and push the boat out to sea. So now we're going to take a look at the wiring. There we go. Just hop down here. Now you want this piston by default to be up, open, extended, whatever the proper term is for it. So the way you do that is you have a redstone torch attached to the wiring that goes to it to keep it powered so that it'll stay open. The way this works is that when I hit this button it powers that redstone which powers this block which will power this repeater which powers this redstone which will turn that torch off which will let that come down. Now let me explain why I've done it this way. When I hit this button, the button will power this entire block, and this block will power whatever block is nearby, which means this cavity, for the purposes of powering things, is completely filled by this redstone. So when I hit the button, it hits, let me hit it again, there we go, powers this block, which powers the cavity, like so. Now. If I had put redstone here and I put my dirt block right there, it would have severed the connection between the two pieces of redstone because redstone can't be powered by a powered block. Now, technically up there, that's a switch. That's, you know, it's a button. Um, buttons and switches can act as power sources to power redstone through a block. But redstone won't power pieces of redstone through a block. Repeaters, on the other hand, repeaters can be powered by a powered block. So what's happening is that that redstone is powering this block, which is then powering this repeater. So I can have that right there, and everything will still work. And that's pretty much the end of it. Now, I've attempted to record this video several times already. And what happens generally is that I go off on a rant about some inconsequential thing because I am terribly, terribly um, forgetful for one thing. Good God! Seven hearts? Eight hearts of damage? I I'm terribly forgetful and I rant about things on a regular basis. So I'm going to try and keep it short this time. If you're playing hardcore mode, don't build this because I've yet to find a way of safely getting the boat to come in guaranteed to have no damage. Now I've seen uh, comments on a couple of other YouTube videos that say if you hold the shift key to sneak in while you're in the boat um, that that's one way of doing it or you can hop out of the boat at just the right moment and jump onto the side of the dock. Personally, this is what I do. I go riding and then I turn the boat around and I ride back to the dock like so and when I get about yay far away I quit holding forward and then I start tapping the back button every once in a while to slow the boat as much as possible and then I land and I didn't take any damage that time sometimes I take half a heart sometimes I'll take up to two or three hearts most of the time so far I've not taken any damage but in hardcore mode that's nothing to fuck around with so be careful and enjoy digging and wiring things to your little heart's content. Uh, I'm about to sign off.
Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it wasn't, I apologize profusely. Thank you, and you have yourselves a wonderful day, slash night, slash afternoon, slash morning, slash whatever the fuck time it is wherever you live. Enjoy yourself. Good day to you, sir, and or madam, and or any other gender fluid qualities you may attribute to yourself. Goodbye.